Derek Jeter has played 2,744 games. This is amazing. Only one of those games was played with the Yankees eliminated from playoff contention. Even though tonight's game has no meaning in the standings, for 50,000 fans and a future Hall of Famer, it will be a moment they will never forget. Lifelong Yankee fan Billy Crystal offers his perspective on the captain. When Andy Pettit and Derek Jeter walked onto the field last summer to take Mariano out of his last game, I found myself watching Jeter. Time to go, he said as he approached Mo with a big smile on his face. I don't think he was ready for what happened next when Mariano fell into Andy's arms weeping uncontrollably. I watched Jeter, thinking to myself, what will happen when it's time for him to walk off the field for the last time? And now it's upon us. My grandmother said there are three things you can always count on, death, taxes and Derek Jeter. Then he broke his ankle in the playoffs and again the next season. We held our breath in spring training. We watched him sprint to first, fearing that when he stepped on the bag, he would come up lame. We saw he had slowed ever so slightly. We nodded our heads. We quietly and respectfully acknowledged the fact that what we were getting from Derek this year was all he had left. He never complained. He didn't make excuses. It seemed that he understood that the man on the mound throwing him fastballs now was a faceless opponent with the name Time printed on the back of his uniform. Last week was the final time I saw Derek play in person. He turned on a fastball and ripped it deep into the left field seats. That one is drilled deep to left field. There it goes. See ya. The sound of the collision of the bat and the ball echoed throughout the stadium. He ran around the bases. This was the first home run he had hit in the stadium this season. I wish I knew what was going on in his mind. Was it, where the hell was that all year? No, he probably just took it in stride and started thinking of his next at bat. I watched him run with great empathy. He's a very proud man who knows who he is now. And I think this season has been a very difficult one, not just because the team and he haven't performed the way we had hoped. It's the last time he will do the thing that he most loves to do. From the time his dad rolled the ball to him and he rolled it back, he's been working hard at being great every day, every game, every at bat, always practicing, still trying to get better. He's always the last one on the field. And now it's getting dark and it's time to come in for supper. I met with Derek after the game, his great smile lighting up the room. Hey, Willie, he said, it's a nickname. My high school coach called me that Derek remembered me telling him about in 1998. We talked for a few minutes like players. Fastball, I said. Oh, yeah, I'm always looking fastball. We smiled again, and I sensed he wanted to go before I said something sappy. We hugged goodbye, and he was gone. Number two, Derek Jeter. We've had a very special relationship. Joe Torre used to have me work out with the Yankees during the great years, even before World Series games. He trusted this former high school player to hold his own with his team and maybe help relax them. Derek saw that I could still play, and he took infield with me many times. This is the greatest fringe benefit uh, that I can imagine. He never treated me like a celebrity. I was his teammate. To watch him on the field, from the stands or on television, is one thing. See ya! He is Mr. November! To experience the speed, the skill, the joy he had in playing on the field is like running with wild horses. It's exhilarating. He helped me become his real teammate, as the Yankees gave me the most precious gift of all, a one-day contract and an at-bat in a spring training game. The day before the game, he stayed back from a road game to work out with me. We hit, we took infield, we talked, we joked. Game day, he was my mentor, never asking me if I was nervous, just encouraging me, as he did every other player. In the on-deck circle, before I was to become a major leaguer, he tapped me on the helmet and said, you may only get one pitch to hit. Get it. So when people ask me, what's my greatest G to memory? It's that. Well, the moment of a lifetime right there for Billy Crystal. I was his teammate. So how will it end? Will he be pinch run for if he's on base in a late inning? Will he be replaced in the field like he was in the All-Star game so he can get one last standing ovation? 
Will he break down and fall into a teammate's arms? I think not. My guess? He plays it out. The way he's played it from the beginning, all nine innings as hard as he can. That's why he's Derek Jeter. That's why we love him and respect him. That's why we'll miss him. When he spoke to the fans on his day, he said, In my opinion, I've had the greatest job in the world. I got a chance to be the shortstop of the New York Yankees. And there's only one of those. Truer words were never spoken. It's almost over, folks. Take a good last look. This is a baseball player.